by and large, I'm extremely satisfied with my experience with the D800. Uh, if I were to nitpick, I would say if we could have the D800 with a higher frame per second rate, I'd be much happier. This, this shoots at 4 frames per second, which is understandable given the resolution uh, of the camera. But if we were to have, say, 8 frames per second, it would be much faster and, you know, could be used in a wider range of applications. Um, also, I find that the one thing that they've changed is the autofocus modes, which which used to be a quick one-handed operation in the D700 is now they've turned it into a two-handed two operation. So if I have to access the autofocus continuous mode, I've got to press a button and move a dial. Um, it's not a deal breaker, but it makes things a little harder to handle in that department. I think those are my two um, gripes, if you will, with the data. Um, first of all, the price. The D800 is about half the price of a D4. Um, Having said that, they are very different cameras and aimed at different types of photographers that work in different fields. Um, it just completely depends on how you work. It just depends on how you work. The D800 is, as I said earlier, about 36 MP. The, the D4 is in the range of 16 MP. Um, having said that, the D4 also is able to photograph a lot faster in terms of its frames per second. It photographs at about 10 frames or 11 frames per second even, while the, the 800 is at about 4 frames per second. So essentially if you if you do a lot of sports, if you do a lot of photojournalistic or like reportage uh, photography, you would want something like the, the D4 which gives you a very very high quality file and works extremely fast. Also in those kinds of applications you need uh, long battery life for example the d4 has a has a battery that lasts significantly uh, longer on every charge it gives you more frames per charge